What I eat in a day videos have been fascinating for me because I just love to see what people eat in a day. Um, some of them just look like they just, you know, make up a lot of, you know, beautiful meals that look great so they can show off their skills. Um, and then some others are just like plain. It's just, it's not, the food doesn't really look good, but it's just true. It's honest. It's like, this is what I eat every single day, rice, broccoli, chicken. So I wanted to make one myself and wanted to stick to what I actually do. It might be surprising that I don't eat that often, but, and also the timing for specific meals is way off from what I've seen on YouTube so far. So let's just get started. So every morning without fail, I either grab water or my iced tea. This one is super special to me. It's from uh, my mom keeps sending it to me because you can't get it in the US. But the iced tea is so good. And on top of that, it has like a lot of electrolytes. So it's a great start for me every morning. I kind of steer away from coffee because after coffee or any type of caffeine in the morning, I tend to have a little bit of a downer after like an hour and a half. I get extremely tired and I don't know why it is, but that's how my body works. So I usually just grab my glasses, take my iced tea, go outside and enjoy the sun and check my phone. I spend about 30 minutes out there just checking emails, um, doing some work on my phone, checking stocks um, before I hit the gym. Depending on my goals, I switch up my workouts, but currently I'm working on this calisthenic challenge and I want to get better at calisthenics. So currently I'm just doing lightweight body weight exercises in the morning, which includes pull-ups, push-ups, just planks, front lever. But before I hit the gym, I have to kiss the love of my life, my best friend, Falco. He's amazing. He just waits for me until I'm done. As soon as I'm done, of course, another kiss from my best friend, making sure he's okay. He was waiting for me the entire time, by the way. After my workout, I have my very first meal and it's a shake. I grab my Vitamix, it's simply the best. Uh, one banana, frozen banana, almond milk, then two scoops of protein powder, a little bit of water, and half a cup of oats. I mix all of that up, put it in a glass, and I'm ready to go. This protein shake right here has um, 50 grams of protein and it just tastes amazing. I just chill outside, enjoy the sun, um, check my phone, do some more work while I'm sipping on my breakfast. Right after breakfast, I grab my big glass again and fill it up with water. And then you won't see me for about three to four hours because I'll be in my office where I'm sitting right now, working on the computer, finishing edits, finishing a bunch of stuff. I'm just here doing work. Around noon, I go back down to the kitchen. And this time, uh, Amanda, my girlfriend, she made a really nice snack. Around noon, I usually just have a, a snack where it's like high in protein, low in carbs, so I can stay focused throughout the entire day. And, and I don't get tired at all because I don't wanna have like a very carby meal around noon. Because for me, personally, it slows me down. After the wrap, I just need something sweet. So instead of grabbing a Snickers bar, I just grab a mango. I'm in love with mangoes. That's my favorite fruit. So I just eat an entire mango, enjoy that, and then back to work. So after the mango, I'll be up here focusing on my work again, doing my trades, you know, checking my Robinhood, checking my, my Binance, um, finishing up edits again. So this is my workflow. After about four hours of work, I head back down to the kitchen and that's when the fun meal happens. And when I say fun meal, I'm just talking about a high carb meal. There's a very specific reason why I personally have my carbs later in the day. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why do you do that? You shouldn't have any carbs at night. My body works like that. And that's, that's what I keep telling my clients as well. You need to listen to your body. If you work great on carbs in the morning, perfect. I don't like I get really tired off of carbs. So like after an hour or two hours. So what I do is I have a meal that's really loaded with carbs right before my second workout. So here's what it is. This time I made vegan pasta and I use beyond beef crumbles. It's just delicious. By the way, I caught Amanda adding some more spices to my pasta because she likes garlic a lot. Um, but I can't say much because it was delicious. So I'm happy she did. I also added some fresh basil from the garden um, just to spice it up a little bit. I just love this meal the most because it's a soul meal, meaning there's a lot of carbs in it. It makes me feel good. 
for a couple hours. <laughs> gives me energy and on top of that I can spend some time with my girlfriend. About 40 minutes after I'm done eating I head back to the gym. Today it was deadlifts and I really want to focus just on one exercise just to get stronger. So I do about two or three warm-up sets and then slowly increase weight to a point where I can do like five reps. This session doesn't really last long, it's about 40 minutes. I just, you know, like I said, a good warm up and then focus on my deadlifts and then head, head back to the kitchen. Since it's late and I'm getting tired, I only have a protein shake with water. It's a one and a half scoops of protein powder and just water and that's about it. So I have another 40 grams of protein in my system and that concludes my entire day. So as you can see, I only have two shakes per day and two meals per day, one light one, one heavy one. And like I said, it's the opposite. I don't have it around uh, lunch. I have my heavy meal before the second workout. It just works for me personally. Since my second workout is not crazy, there's no high intensity interval training or nothing crazy. Um, I don't mind having a full stomach of, you know, doing some back squats or doing some deadlifts. But again, might be different for you. This works for me. I have a lot of energy and I use that energy in the workout and then right after. I don't wanna say I collapse, but I really feel how my body shuts down and wants to sleep and rest and recover. If I'm really hungry during the day, I just throw in another trifecta meal. What I mean by that is I just, I don't have to cook anything else. I, I just use one of the prep meals, grab that, look at it and see, okay, 300 calories, 20 grams of protein, that's good for me put it in my system and I'm ready to go. Another thing that's like super important for me is hydration. As you guys can see, I start my day with water or iced tea. And then right after that, I have another, I have a shake and then I have more water. Every time I work here on the computer, I wanna make sure that I drink at least one liter of water. So I have in total, I think I can manage to get four to five liters of water every single day. And it helps me feel good, my skin gets better. And yeah, it's just, healthy. That's it for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Woo!